We have approached the end of Vision 2020 and the 11th Malaysia Plan. As a continuation, a 12th Malaysia Plan will be formulated to set the way forward for national development. One of the 12 Malaysia Plan's dimension is environmental sustainability which in line with the government efforts to attain the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. For example, let's take a look on Sarawak's plan to harness hydrogen as a source of energy on hydrogen vehicles which includes hydrogen bus. The engine consists of fuel cell stack. A fuel cell is composed of anode, electrolyte and cathode. For this project, we are working on development of cathode material. Cathode material is one of the crucial parts to determine the overall performance of fuel cell. The most potential one is LSCF. Strontium segregation may lead to the decrease of surface area which contribute to the minimization of reactive area between the electrodes and electron line. Let us take a look deeper at the molecular level. It starts with non-segregating particles of LSCF. As the operating temperature increases, the strontium particles in the LSCF have begun to gather at the cathode surface and subsequently segregate on top of the cathode layer. Our first modification is through a deep coating technique. The technique requires the sample to be dipped into zirconia chloride solution where the zirconia chloride will attach to the surface of the sample and prevent strontium segregation. For internal modification, the synthesizing of LSCF cathode was done with the addition of functionalized carbon nanotube through soil gel process. The carbon nanotube acts as a dispersing media for the LSCF. The gel is then undergo heating treatment at 900 Celsius to yield modified LSCF cathode powder. In the interest of investigating the performance of the LSEF cathode, we have characterized the samples by using our in-house electrochemical impedance spectroscopy measurement setup. From the measurement, the ASR value for both externally and internally modified LSEF samples are outstandingly lower than reported pristine LSEF value at 750 Celsius. Single cell can be adapted in the form of cell stack module and commercialized as portable charger and hybrid SOSC system in transportation and residential area. <laughs>